Welcome to the Curator's Tour of the Wood Street Youth Arts Prize 2020. Today you're joined by Georgia Steele, Chandler Brooks Smith, and myself, Mitchell Webster. We make up the Emerging Curators Program and have had the exciting task of putting together this year's Arts Prize. We are looking forward to taking you through the gallery space this year. Having gone digital, we have been challenged in new ways but have been able to commit completely to the artistic process and highlight the amazing talents of the young artists in our community. The theme for this year has been a new power, finding a voice, which has been especially relevant this year. The theme was intended to reflect the new fight for young people in our community with movements such as the climate strikes and Black Lives Matter. But being in isolation, a lot of young people are fighting to be supported by our government for jobs and for essential industries like the creative arts. We would now like to take you through the space and provide you with some insight into how we have curated the space and the ways in which these works complement one another. As we enter the space, you can't help but notice a humorous piece that sums up our year. 2020 by Leon Zan simply yet effectively shows the thoughts of the majority on the year past and all its surprises. Moving to the left of this piece, you find a colourful cluster of influential figures for young people and works that have a focus on the self but support each other through colour, pink, blue and orange. Punchy and Bright draws these works together. To the right of the piece, you find a cluster of paintings with different ideas around the theme of the prize, ranging from still life to self-expression. The bottom centre of this cluster, you see Jet Del Mal's recycle category flat where they've worked on alternative surfaces that align with ideas around waste and how we can use materials that pre-exist and create something new. Positioned between two windows in the space you are met with Danger 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 by Chelsea Hickman which pulls focus on the themes of this year and touches on what we are all going through living in a world that is fight or flight, the changes and shifts in our state. To the left of the virtual entrance, you find a cluster of works that look at the environment, BLM movement, and topics that are especially relevant to the youth of today. John Matet's work, titled The Voice of Tomorrow, depicts a sprightly Greta Thunberg, who is the symbol of youth in the modern world. To the right of this cluster, you find Jess Walters' spoken piece, Return to Her. This work is a multimedia work that describes the voice of someone having power over themselves. Moving across the doorway, you find three works whose colours harmonise. They work together in a fantastical way. They have a dream aspect to both of them. Joshua Griffin's two pieces titled Lucid and Daring show the fantastical representation of leaping into your power and discarding your fears of the world. Bound underneath a slimline window, you meet works which have a focus on the self and nature. Looking at Charlize Allen's piece titled Power Within, you find a portrait which enacts the focal point, leading the audience's eyes to either side of the work. The faces enact the audience to consume the work in three parts. Due to the many changes to how the exhibition has come to be, us as the Emerging Curators Program have had to deal with a variety of shifts. We've also had to re-envision ways that we can effectively collaborate as a collective in order to support our artists in delivering a quality exhibition for all. The works were curated across stages. First, we collaborated with our mentors, Fung No and Nikki Lam, who are both established artists in our community. Collaborating with our mentors, we were able to shortlist works from the amazing outpour of talent that we have received this year. Once we shortlisted the works, we noticed the ways in which the works were unified in the theme and decided that we wanted to create focal points throughout the space to support the ways in which our audience navigates this digital platform. We believe this year's prize is visionary in the way that we've persevered through this pandemic to ensure that our community still remain in touch and support of the arts. We hope that you enjoy this space as much as we have had creating it and bringing it to life. Thank you for joining us today. We would like to thank the Hobsons Bay City Council for their ongoing support and the support of our mentors, Fung and Nikki. 
as well as Matto Lucas for helping us to navigate this online video platform and Exhibit, the digital platform for this year's Arts Prize. But most of all, we'd love to thank our artists and the talent they've shared with us this year. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>